Welcome back to the channel. I'm Matt, aka I Know Football, aka IKF. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about football helmets. Now, I've got three helmets in front of me, all from Zenith. Let's take a look at these real quick. Uh, these are all of the helmets, or all of the adult helmets in Zenith's uh, current line. They have the X3 Plus, that's the black helmet that I have here. They have the Shadow, which is the matte gray helmet. And then they have the brand new Shadow XR that I did a full video review on. Uh, these are all the adult helmets. They also come in youth sizes. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be going over the differences in these helmets to try to help you guys make the right choice in what helmet is going to be best for you. Now, these helmets are all different price points. You've got the $300 helmet in the Adult X2E Plus, all the way up to close to $700 in the Shadow XR. Now, is it worth it? That's a question that a lot of you guys are always asking me. So, hoping this video will help you out in choosing the right helmet. Now, the reason why I've chosen these Zenith helmets is all of these are five star rated helmets. So, no matter what helmet you go with in the Zenith line, they're all going to be five star rated. You're all going to get the maximum protection as tested by the Virginia Tech study. So, without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to start with the X2E Plus, talk about the adult and youth, and then go on to the differences as you upgrade, so to speak, in the Shadow and Shadow. XR. Let's start by taking a look at the X2E Plus in the Zenith line. Now this is the adult size helmet and retails for just under $300 at about $290. Now, all of these helmets that you see here, the Shadow and the Shadow XR, uh, are all gonna share a lot of similarities. Uh, the main thing um, that you think about Zenith helmets is their shock absorption system with the shock bonnet uh, that they have in the helmet and the way the chin straps actually pull and lock in to give you that secure fit. All of the helmets are gonna have that. So the differences between all of these helmets are going to be things like the face mask material, uh, the shell material here, uh, also the chin cup, we'll talk a little bit about that, the differences in the chin cup, and then the material of the pads, both the comfort pads that you see here in black, and then also that you have these pods, these protection pods you're going to have single stage, dual stage, um, as well as the material of the actual uh, shock pads. So those are going to be your main differences in the helmet. So when you look at uh, this, the X2E Plus, um, what you have is a traditional helmet style. So right off the bat, if you're one that likes a traditional helmet style, uh, you know, a round style versus something like these, let me get one of these so you can kind of see the shape of it because the Shadow and the Shadow XR have the same shape. So if you like something that's more traditional, just that round, smaller shell, uh, the X2E is going to be something that you, you might prefer. Um, along with this helmet is also going to be a, a smaller shell, so slightly smaller if you don't like a, the bigger style helmets. Um, and then also lighter weight. Uh, so this is going to weigh in at around 4 pounds, uh, where these reach about 5 pounds. Um, weight is going to play a factor uh, in... For your position, you know, if you're a receiver, you might want a lighter weight helmet. Uh, if you're a speed guy, you might want a lighter weight helmet. When it comes to the youth side of football, there is a big difference. So the, these helmets are polycarbonate uh, in youth, the Shadow and the Shadow XR, and the x 3 Plus is ABS. The x 3 Plus is gonna be a lighter youth helmet. It is very important for youth players to have lightweight helmets. The reason is a lot of youth players, youth athletes don't have the neck muscles to carry the weight of the helmet for a, a full game, especially when it's getting knocked around. So you definitely wanna be cognizant of that. It's why a lot of youth helmets are made of ABS, which does not protect you as well as polycarbonate, but also when it comes to youth football, the, the hits are not as hard as adult football. That's why they have them. Um, that's why youth helmets, although they are the same size as adult helmets, why youth helmets have lighter materials and also why when you're an adult you should not be buying a youth helmet because you want to make sure you have the right materials in your helmet even though the sizing is the same. All right so now that I finished that monologue about youth sizing helmets and why you might want a light helmet uh, some of the other differences here the X2E Plus comes with the steel uh, face mask. Now steel face masks are going to be heavier than titanium so it's going to add a little bit of weight. Now on the inside, when you think about the shock absorbers, this is going to differ than from the Shadow and the Shadow XR because these are just going to be single stage shock absorbers. The advantage of dual stage shock absorbers is both lighter and medium hits and then the Shadow XR has a completely different material ring on which I'll talk about when I get there. Um, but this is going to be still good technology because of the fit of the helmet is so well. If you want a, a single stage and you want a lightweight helmet, this is how they do it by using the single stage shock absorbers. Now something 
coming on this helmet is the chin strap. This is a hybrid chin strap. The hybrid was great technology when it was introduced. It's the combination of a soft cup chin strap, uh, which is very comfortable but doesn't protect you as much, and also a hard cup chin strap, which isn't very comfortable and protects you. So what Zenith has done is they've combined it. You've got the soft cup inside of the hard cup to make it super comfortable. Now, after trying all these helmets out, uh, these helmets here have the 3D uh, chin strap versus the hybrid, and I'll talk about that. I think the 3D is much, much, much more comfortable. The last big difference in the helmets is going to be the number of shock absorbers. I know that the Shadow XR has uh, a few more shock absorbers uh, than the X2E Plus. I'm not sure exactly how many, uh, but I know that this has more to give you more of a little bit of a custom fit. It also, uh, and this helmet doesn't have the fit lock, which is going to be the band at the back, something that I really like about the Shadow XR. Uh, so both in the Shadow and the Shadow XR, you can see this band here is really going to lock the helmet uh, against uh, your head. So right below uh, your head, this is going to provide uh, a locking feeling and really secure the helmet. It also is the reason why you're, you can have that high shelf uh, in the Shadow and Shadow XR. So this helmet does not have that, and so you might not feel as comfortable, but at the end, that's made up for the reduction in weight um, for the lightweight helmet. Now let's talk about the Shadow FOPA helmet. Again, this is the adult version. Now the differences between this uh, and the adult side of the Shadow and the X2E Plus are uh, the shell material. The shell is gonna be a proprietary polycarbonate, which is gonna be uh, protectively the same, but gonna be a lot more durable than the X2E, which means that this helmet is going to last you a lot longer uh, than the shell of the X2E when you think about the amount of times you have to recondition it. So that's a poly, that is a proprietary polycarbonate material that Zenith uses. Now also, obviously, the shell shape is different. It's going to be a little bit of a larger shell. It's also going to carry more weight. It does have dual stage shock absorbers um, in the helmet. Remember, the X2E Plus only has single stage, so this is going to protect from a, a large variety of hits with the dual stage shock absorbers. It's got the fit lock that I talked about for a more comfortable fit, and then it has one of my favorite things, which is this 3D chin strap, which is uber comfortable. Uh, probably one of the most comfortable chin straps that I've worn uh, in recent helmets. It still has that same shock bonnet as the X2E and of course as the Zenith uh, Shadow XR, um, but those are going to be your main differences with uh, the Shadow uh, helmet. Now let's get to the Shadow XR football helmet. This is going to be the adult version just like the others and this is going to be the most expensive uh, helmet in the Zenith line. Now, the Shadow XR is gonna start at about $550. That's gonna be for the steel face mask option. The same steel face mask that comes on the Shadow and comes on the X2E Plus. Now, the X2E Plus retails for $290. You've got the Shadow at uh, $450, and then you've got the Shadow XR at $550. If you offer the titanium face mask, which is gonna be even lighter weight, that's gonna run you about $680. Now, titanium face masks are valuable, not just for light weight. They reduce the weight of the helmet, but where you really feel it is in running around, turning your head. Because the face mask actually hangs off of the front of your, your face, it feels heavier uh, when you think about that force. So when you have the titanium face mask, it makes the helmet feel incredibly light on your head uh, versus just in your hand. Now, uh, that's not the only update in the Shadow XR. The big differences are going to be in the material of the actual shock pads inside the helmet. This is the rayon material, which is uh, an intelligent material, I guess you'll call it. Uh, this material, upon impact, stiffens up. So it's gonna have some uh, different impact absorption uh, characteristics than you have in the dual stage uh, pods in the uh, Shadow and the single stage pods in the X2E Plus. Now this also comes with the 3D chin cup. I mentioned before on the Shadow that this is gonna be one of my favorites because it's so comfortable. It's going to be a lot more comfortable, in my opinion, than just the hybrid that comes with the X2E Plus. Now, this also has the fit lock band at the back. Again, it's going to give you a secure fit, a very comfortable fit in the helmet. It's going to feel a lot more stable on your head um, with that weight, which helps make the, the helmet feel lighter um, than it actually is. Now, remember, this helmet weighs about five pounds um, without the titanium face mask, and with the titanium face mask, it's about four and a half. And that half pound is going to be uh, something real that you feel. Now, when it comes to the youth version of this helmet, the Shadow XR is also made 
in a youth, it's going to be heavier. I talked about the advantages of the X3 Plus for youth helmets in the ABS shell. Uh, this shell is not going to be ABS in the youth side. It's still going to have that proprietary uh, polycarbonate material. Um, but when you think about the steel helmet, it's going to be about $370 with a titanium face mask, $450 uh, to lighten it up a little bit. I would definitely suggest uh, for a youth helmet, um, if you're going to go with Shadow XR, you're going to have to spring for the additional uh, titanium face mask to lighten up that helmet. Um, otherwise, you can just go for the more the le lesser expensive X3 Plus um, for youth. Uh, that's going to be fine, especially because you want to be considerate of the weight that you're putting on the neck of those youth players. Um, so that's really going to do it for the video and the differences in the Zenith helmets. I hope that helps you out. Let me know in the comments below what you think about these different helmets and uh, which one you would go with um, if, if it was your choice. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description of the video below on where you can purchase these directly from Zenith. And uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time.